Hey everybody, Earl Harville from Harville Vocal Studio back with you again with another vocal training video. Today I'm going to share with you a practice strategy that I find extremely effective. Some teachers refer to it as a ping pong approach, the ping pong technique. This is a way for us to take the technique that we're gaining in our exercises and put it actually into our songs, especially in tricky areas of our songs. Um, notes that are really difficult for us to maintain connection with or, or maintain good coordination with. This is a wonderful way to bridge that gap between your technique uh, in the exercises and actually applying to your songs. Example, on the song Yesterday from the Beatles, which I use a lot, especially with males, newer male students, because it purpose, uh, I purposely use it because it puts them in their first bridge on an F and have to really kind of hang in there. Why he had to go, I don't know, he wouldn't say. That puts us in a really difficult area for us guys. So, it's often very effective to take the words out so that we can get back to a balanced approach in the voice. So I, for instance, would have the guys to vocalize that pattern on the sound goog, a sound that often they had great success in um, in the exercises and finding a good coordination, finding a good balance there. So I'd have them to do something like this. Or if one was a great sound that worked for them, one, 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 or whichever sound was their sound that uh, is a, 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 a almost guaranteed to get them into their mix well, get them through those bridges well without things falling apart. And once you've done those a few times, then you go back and you put the words in and see if you can now keep the good coordination, the good balance production as you are singing it on the actual words of the song. If it still falls apart, then you take the words back out again and you vocalize it again on one of those exercise sounds. It really is taking the songs and almost making them exercises. Again, bridging the gap between the vocalises as we do and your actual song repertoire. I do it myself. Um, recently I've been working on Luther Vandross's uh, Little Miracles and it takes me to F sharps all the time and F sharp is like the worst note in my range. So, because um, the phrase goes, maybe today things can change, nothing stays the same and maybe so you have to keep coming back to these F sharps, which are the worst note for me to hang on to. So what I often would have to do is I'd have to take the words out and vocalize it on, on one of the sounds that really works well for me. Some of my go-to sounds are bub and one. They really help me find my vocal balance all over again. So often I would have to do Hmm. and do it on bub to get it back to where I really want it. My allergies are kicking up today, so don't judge. Um, to help me get the balance back and then put the words back in and see if it's ready to hang on. If it's not, I can't sing it yet on the words. I have to go back and use it, uh, use one of the vocally sounds. This is a great, great tool that works for my students well. Again, it works for me as an artist when I'm working on my material. So try it out. You will see it be of great benefit to you. If you have questions or you're looking to schedule uh, lessons, you can contact me um, at 562-387-8025. My website is www.harvillevoice.com. That's www.harville dot com. And I will be glad to teach you here in the Long Beach area in my studio or long distance via Skype or Uvu. Happy singing. It's work.